All right, all right, all righty, all right. What's going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs Day number 1314. Hope you're all having a great one out there, ladies and gentlemen. If this is your first time on my channel, first and foremost, welcome. And uh, leave a comment right now in the chat or the comments down below saying first timer so I could respond to you and welcome you properly. But if you've been here before, leave a comment in the chat or the comments saying before so I can welcome you back. And of course, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on everybody. That's right, it's free. So I'll give you a second to do that. And of course, let's get 150 to 200 likes on this video. Give it a quick tap and let's jump into it. So just shooting from the hip here. It's a beautiful day. And uh, I, it's something I wanted to uh, talk about, you know, on my channel, you know, again, I, a lot of people say, oh, you're negative, you're negative, you're negative. Okay. Of course, I've had to explain this a million times over. These are the topics. Okay. The, this is what's going on in reality. Dino from saying it like it is talked about this too. So I want you guys to understand that with these videos, with these topics, they're not there to scare you. They're there to keep you informed, to keep you guys updated, okay? So I'm just curious for incident, you know, for, for instance, you know, like how there's a lot of stuff about deactivations. These are real situations that drivers are going through. If you guys ever wanna send me something, pay to drive stories at gmail.com. Best place to reach me, I could turn it into a video to kind of, you know, launch it out there, blast it out there so that more people can respond and try and help you out if I can't do it myself or a collective of myself and others. But I'm just curious, for those of you out there who are doing, let's just say DoorDash or Grubhub or Uber Eats or multi-apping amongst all three, if, the, if not others, you know, for those of you that are doing this full time, okay, like myself when I started in the beginning, I was a full time Grubhub driver. Then as I started doing YouTube and getting into other investments and other projects, I stepped down to part time in the gig economy, but I'm still, I'm still in it here. You know, I'm just curious if, if you got deactivated from all of these platforms, like Damon Wolf did, for instance, I, I did a video uh, a while ago talking about Damon. Okay. Depending on when you're watching this. Um, and he was deactivated because of a, a, of the background check checker. Okay. And he was deactivated because he moved from Ohio to Nevada, originally had an Ohio driver's license when he signed up with all the apps. When he moved, he had to get a new driver's license. And to my knowledge, he tried submitting the new driver's license, but they weren't getting back to him or whatever. And then he got deactivated when his Ohio uh, driver's license expired. And now he's he can't work on any of the apps. And he told me how stressed he is. So I'm just curious for those of you that either lost a job during the pandemic or were working a job you weren't happy with and now you're doing this full time, let me know in the chat or the comments. Are you guys doing this full time? Leave a comment right now or part time. Full time or part time, just comment right now. What would you be doing if tomorrow you went to go log on to each app, especially DoorDash, okay? Can't log in, deactivated. Go to Grubhub. You're deactivated. Uber Eats, deactivated. I'm not saying all at once, but it could happen over time. What would you do? Would you have a fallback plan? Do you have investments to fall back on? Do you have another job lined up that you could fall back on? You see, the reason why I'm asking these questions is because when I put out information for you guys, it's so that your knowledge is increased. Knowledge is power. You know how they say that? Knowledge is power. If you go out there blind, sure, you're going to learn. You're going to make mistakes. But in the gig economy, especially with how these apps love to deactivate, they're, they're trigger happy on that deactivate option like that. 
okay? I've seen literally drivers that have worked for three years get deactivated like that because a customer committed fraud and said, I never got my order. How many drivers that's happening to, okay? For sake of argument. What would you do? I, I don't ask that question very often, but it just like, it just seems that, that people feel that I'm just trying to scare people. I'm just trying to upset people. But what would you do? Would Do you have another job lined up? Do you have, if you're de deactivated tomorrow, do you're like, oh, thank God, at least I have that nine to five to fall back on. Oh, at least I have that investment to fall back on. For me, I could tell you right now, without all of this stuff, I'd be in trouble. I was on unemployment before joining the gig economy with Grubhub in 2017. Four years later, I'm incredibly grateful for these apps. I'm incredibly grateful for YouTube and you guys, okay? I call these apps out when they mess with drivers because I know what it's like to start and I know what it's like to be taken advantage of just even beyond the gig economy. So with that being said, in the chat, in the comments, tell me down below, what would you fall back on? If you were deactivated tomorrow, what would you do to fall back on to get yourself back on your feet? If you couldn't work on any of the apps, would you go to Rideshare? Would you go to Uber and Lyft? But if you're deactivated on Uber Eats, you can't get onto Uber, so then it only leaves Lyft. Would you do that? I don't know. Let me know down below, I'm curious. And I do wanna take this time right now to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash paid to drive. These people give a little something every single month, which really, really helps out. So if you wanna sign up and get shout outs in every new video like this, link is in the description down below or in the pinned top comment. And also you'll get direct access to send me messages privately and it, it bypasses my email so you can talk to me directly. Um, when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name in the chat of the comments. Marie Sabo Batwell, our ultimate driver, 100 bucks per month. She's fantastic. And of course, we've got Lee Peacock, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Richardson, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Serena Siddiqui, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, T Breeze, Ginny Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of you. You guys are fantastic. Um, and of course, everybody, please download the Get Upside Gas app if you have not done so yet. It's a free app for your smartphone. Uh, so every time you pump at the gas station regularly like you normally would, all you have to do is use this app. It's in the description down below. Download it for your smartphone. You pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link is in the description. Make sure to download it. And uh, of course, if you wanna get one of these cool shirts, the PTD Mod Squad shirt, Go, go get one, paytodrivestore.com. They're waiting for you. That's right, pay to pay, pay to drive, pay to drive store.com. Everything's on sale. Go get yourself one. And if you made it to the end of this video, simply comment end 102, end 102. Let's me know you made it to the end. Subscribe with all notifications on. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Hit the like, 150 thumbs up, 200 likes. And that's all I got for you, everybody. So let me know, what would you do? If you got deactivated tomorrow, what would be your fallback plan? And that's it. Till next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Take care, everybody. Peace out, drive safe, and we'll see you on the next one.